restrictions apply. The death penalty in America. Tonight we begin a three-part report on capital punishment in this country. It seems to be more popular with voters than ever before, but does it work? Does it take too long to execute criminals? Does it cost too much? And does it deter others from crime? NBC's Bill Schuckner. He calls himself Sam Jones. A licensed electrician, he is the executioner for the state of Louisiana. A lot of them say they, they believe in the death penalty, but they don't think they could throw the switch. How about you? Oh, I can throw it. I've thrown it 18 times. Someday, Abdul al-Malik may meet Sam Jones. Malik took his name after he arrived on Louisiana's death row in 1985, convicted of killing a cop. Each time a man is taken to the death house, it takes something from me. And uh, I'm wondering if I would have the strength to go peacefully as most of them have gone. Across the country, about 2,300 inmates are waiting for the executioner. The death penalty is in force in 36 states, a punishment the public says it wants. The procedure which consists of 2,000 volts for 10 seconds, 500 volts for 10 After 14 seconds. years, what has the public gotten? A penalty whose value as a deterrent is uncertain, a penalty that each year adds 200 more inmates to death row than it removes, a penalty so bogged down that even advocates like New Orleans District Attorney Harry Connick are unhappy. We really don't have the death penalty anymore. What do we have? We have a, a series of court decisions which are going to delay the execution of people who have been convicted and sentenced to death. What happened? The appeals process has grown in ways few could imagine. Lives are at stake, so it is exhaustive. The system operates unevenly, so there is a lot to review. Consider the case of Glenn Ford on death row five years. Convicted of a burglary murder by an all-white jury on the basis of circumstantial evidence, he turned down a deal of life in prison. He said he hadn't done it. Ford couldn't pay a lawyer. The court appointed Paul Alexander, a respected civil lawyer who had never tried a criminal case. If uh, Glenn Ford were to have the best of all possible worlds, he would have had a, a distinguished, um, experienced criminal defense attorney. How would you describe yourself? A good lawyer, a good generalist, but certainly not an experienced criminal defense attorney. Did Glenn Ford have an even chance? Appeals courts must decide. And it is appeals like his that are the latest threat to the death penalty. They are slow, six years on average, expensive, often a million dollars, sometimes more expensive than life in prison. A New York study projected costs of $1.6 million for an execution, $600,000 for a life term. Criminal justice consultant Bob Spangenberg predicts some states may drop the death penalty because of money. It may come down to issues like health, highways, other forms of public safety, and the death penalty. We're going to give them the death penalty. But right now, the death penalty is riding high. Candidates are running on it. Congress is considering limiting appeals, even though some fear it will deny inmates a full chance. Analysts say the death penalty is popular because people want to take a hard shot at violent crime. So, despite the fact that it is costly, slow, and unproven as a deterrent, most Americans say capital punishment is just punishment. Vernon and Elizabeth Harvey are among them. Their daughter Faith was murdered in 1980. Vernon Harvey went to the execution. A lot of people say, you sink to his level. He kills, you kill. He had a juror. No, he, he had a juror. He had a lot of appeals repeatedly for many years. Where was that for Faith? Yeah. Helen Prejean, a nun, is a friend of the Harveys who has also seen executions. She counsels victims' families as well as men on death row. There's an alternative to the state killing people. The alternative is that you give up your freedom and that you're put in prison, but we don't lower ourselves to their level by repeating their crime and repeating their violence. Polls show almost 80% of Americans support capital punishment. But when those who favor capital punishment are asked if life without parole is an acceptable substitute, about 30% of them say yes. It seems the jury is still out. Do we really want it? If we want it, then let's get on with it. And if we don't, let's say we don't. While the debate continues, 2,300 people are in line to die. 
and another 300 are sentenced to join them each year. Bill Schechner, NBC News, Angola, Louisiana. Tomorrow night, some people who came face to face with the hardest questions about the death penalty, members of a jury. Thank you.